Hey everybody, Chris here. So I'm doing a bridge caps on our original board. Uh, this is the Kanabi that I'm working on. And I kind of have my own little system. Uh, first I make these butcher block out of hickory and that way they're quarter sawn. And then I uh, cut the sections into the shapes I need. This one's for the base bridge. Then uh, I drill a pilot hole, usually in about like three or four places, evenly spaced. Uh, pick the pilot hole that's perfect for the screw, where the screw grabs real good and follows the hole. And then the cap part, I enlarge the hole so that the screw won't grab it. And then I use uh, these screws. They've kind of got a built-in washer on the head. Kind of look like this. These are uh, stronger than drywall screws. For a long time I was using drywall screws but I got tired of them breaking so now I use these and these are a lot stronger. So here I've got one where it's being glued on in place right now with the screws and so now I'm getting ready to start the next section. So the next section I've got it uh, fenced off. Uh, this is so the router will ride on this. And then I'll be routing this lower and making sure that it's uh, smooth by sanding it and level. Then I'm going to be adding and gluing on a bridge cap and you can see how my system works for that. Here's a little trick to get the dowel to fit the hole perfectly. Taper the end, put it in the drill. Spin it in the hole. Then it leaves uh, the exact size the dowel needs to be.
right, all the new bridge caps are on, and uh, we'll be letting the uh, glue dry on the base bridge. Uh, then we'll uh, tomorrow do some trimming, uh, put the plate back in, set the down bearing, and uh, work our way towards notching. Then after that, then it's uh, fix all the cracks in the soundboard, do some uh, epoxy clear coating. So that'll be fun. All right, see you in the next video.